All right, next thing I'm gonna talk about is the coolness of Windows 10. So I'm gonna argue Windows 10 is not really an operating system anymore. It's a client platform. So why do I say this? Well, for Windows 10, you have all of these 365 products, Windows 10 Enterprise, all kinds of security going on and you're up here. Right now, everyone running Windows 7 and God forbid Windows 8, you, know, you have this third party security tool gap. What do I mean by that? What I mean is you keep adding third parties to these PCs to add security. That's what everybody does because Windows 7, Microsoft didn't really have anything useful going on for the most part. And more and more what we see is something like this, where you got your poor operating system and you've got HIPs and HIDs and firewalls and malware and management agents and uh, SEIM or SIEM and antivirus and DLP and you have all of these things fighting to control your box. And at the end of the day, either A, the box sucks, or B, you've made enough exclusions that you robbed most of these tools of their ability to do their security job anyway. So you're, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place here. With Windows 10, and I'm gonna use the word Windows Defender because Windows Defender, I know it's been reused as a name like 20 times for Microsoft in the last two years. Windows Defender is really the security side of Windows 10. Um, and these statistics here are really interesting because before, if we wanted to say, okay, I can touch um, you know, X amount of devices, I can touch Y amount of uh, queries and this many new file samples, you'd be talking about a third party. You'd be talking about a whitelisting system, an antivirus system, somebody like that, because there would be no unity. With Windows 10, you're just talking about Microsoft. Um, it, it was interesting, I was uh, on a Palo Alto partner conference and they were talking about uh, one of their ability to do sensors and the number of devices, and it was in the tens of thousands. And then we flip over here to this guy, it's like 1.2 billion. There, there's a big change there when we talk about machine learning, right? Machine learning likes data. The more data it has, the better it is. It's hard to argue that nowadays everybody's got a Windows box going on. 